Hello, welcome to my Wednesday. I'm having a preparing for my daughter's birthday day today. I'm gonna to go to pont a -Pris and hopefully buy her main present and a few other bits and bobs as well. I've got a list. The weather has been absolutely awful and I'm gonna to have to take an umbrella for sure. I haven't had my lunch yet, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna do a low cost budget cafe lunch in Sainsbury's, maybe a toasty, a coffee, because it's on the way to where I want to go to buy said present. Mm, I'm gonna be a bit secretive about what the main present is. Isabel does not watch these vlogs but you never know it might end up getting back to her and I want it to be a complete surprise but uh, I haven't decided exactly which make and model to go for yet and I want to go to a specialist place where I can get advice from a human which is why I'm not getting it online although my boyfriend has given me some suggestions which I've written down on a bit of paper and I'm gonna get my stuff together now and leave the house barriers are open randomly Well, the weather's cleared up nicely. I've got my umbrella here. I tell you what, if you're a vlogger, there's one thing you don't want when you're out and about, and that's something in your hand. So I've tethered it to my rucksack with Velcro. Do you know, every time I come, I'm astonished to see this looking so empty. It's because there was a building there for so, so long and it's been demolished and I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh, there goes the bus. <laughs> Being very noisy, just as I'm about to speak to you. I'm gonna head straight to Sainsbury's on foot just because the time of day is. I'm gonna have probably something like a toasty, a coffee, and then I'm gonna head off to try and buy Izzy's present. That's Park Anis Ang Harad down there. It's lovely, I don't know if you've been or not, but it's worth a visit. It's huge. They have a Lido, a heated outdoor swimming pool there. It's really, really nice. I've been, <laughs> I have vlogged in the past before it had a load of damage done to it by Storm Dennis. That was a bit of a disaster, but anyway, I think it's recovered now. I'm just crossing over the river now, over the bridge here. There's the park stretching out in front of us. Not long to go, look, there's Sainsbury's. Can you see it in the distance? The sun's in and out like it's doing the hokey cokey. Look here, behold, we have a famous sculpture. I'm presuming it's meant to be like a ship. I haven't been in here for ages. Right, I think I'm gonna have a coffee and a toasty, something like that. Just cheese, just ham, got sandwiches. What's that, cheese and onion toasty? I do fancy that. Mm, I really shouldn't have the onion. I am going to, though it's four pounds. This is smelling very nice, actually. We asked for a cup of water. So I've gone for a flat white for a change. I don't know usually, but IB was having one and uh, he said, well, they're smaller and stronger. And normally they're too big for me. So that's good actually. So I'm gonna try that. But then I thought, well, I might need to wash it down with something. Hey, look, I'm right in the corner, as you could probably see. And I'm pleased to see they have got charging devices. I have dreams of being a digital nomad, you see, being location independent for work. So things like this always, you know, get me feeling inspired. <laughs> Here's my toasty anyway, and I'm looking forward to getting my chops around that now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's much nicer actually. I think I must remember I like flat whites. Yeah. Remember to move the tray eventually. <laughs> The sun's come out now, oh no. In the time it's taken me to do this, the sun has gone back in again. You can see that monument I pointed out by there, look. The traffic and those rows of terraced housing there. Uh-oh, I'm still hungry. I had a feeling this might happen. 
I shall drink the coffee and see if I'm still hungry by the time I reach the end of it. I have got waylaid going, roaming around the shop. I'm supposed to be going straight out of the door and going to buy Izzy's presents. It's gone three, so I better not be too much longer. Oh, they got BFG bugs, look. Oh. <laughs> Loads of Easter stuff. And do you know what? I need to buy some Easter eggs. I need to buy special travel Easter eggs. Not normal ones, ones that will go in a bag easily. I think I'm going to need a basket. Right, these are for me. Not many in a packet, mind, is there? It's a pound. God, do you know what? That's tiny. No, oh, that's not very good value in my opinion. I've had a request from IB for mini eggs. That's very small. That's a very small amount. That's like not the whole bag full. They're rattling around in the bottom of that great big bag. Hmm. Um, I'd also wanted Maltesers ones. 50p for a bunny. I don't see Maltesers mini eggs though. That's what she said she wanted. I have a very strong suspicion that I could buy those more cheaply elsewhere. Somewhere like B&M for instance. So I'm going to defer buying the Easter snacks. I'm going down here now where there are a number of different places like Curry, Sports Direct, B&Q. Let's find you the whole list in case you're interested. Oh, I think that could be it actually. There was an Argos, but I've noticed it's now in Sainsbury's. Um, I thought that they had something like PC World here, but they apparently haven't unless it's somewhere else. I don't know, but there's, there is a shop that I'm gonna go in that might do curries. In fact, I'm sure it'll do. They sell burgers here. Look, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, soft drinks, and obviously flaming grill type food whatever that is thought I'd mention it in case you're you know likely to come down and want a burger Carissa right glasses are steaming up typical in it mission accomplished there is a big birthday present protruding out the top of my rucksack right now I'm paranoid it's gonna fall out anyway I'm gonna go into town now Looks like they've got stuff happening in the park this Easter. A fun fair's coming to town. Going past the health centre. When I'm making these out and about vlogs, I'm always thinking in the back of my mind that people can watch them in years to come. And I would, for one, for nostalgic reasons, would so love to watch a vlog like this made in, say, for example, 1985 in the town that I was growing up in, because I would just absolutely love to be able to see how it was back then in my childhood. So I kind of feel like I'm doing that service for people that are maybe children now that might want to look back at what Pontypridd was like in the past. So there we are, have a good look. <laughs> look at the old bridge, hopefully that's still standing for many, many, many decades more to come. There's the new library, another fancy new building. I've vlogged about that before, to be honest. Oh, shopping trolley in the river. I wonder if that will change in the future. Museum. It's open now by the look of it. The gates are open. Somebody did tell me in the comments actually. One of these days I'll go in, but not today because I'm on a mission. Oh, look at the little bunny design in the window of Shaw's The Drapers. I love shorts the japers but I just don't need anything otherwise I'd love to go in and browse just for the heck of it one of my missions today is to pick up some hair dye and there's a specific brand that I like to use which is called nature tint and I'm looking at the shop that I'm going to buy it from Poland's and Barrett you can't get it everywhere I have actually in the last day or two set up a subscribe and save with Amazon because it works out a bit cheaper but it can't come till like I'm just on holiday and I want to do it now I want to dye my hair because uh, the dye comes out on towels for a while and I don't want to go on holiday just after dyeing it because it's going to wreck the hotel towels. I've, I've kind of done that before without realising it was going to happen at all. A bit bad. Hello. Of course my glasses are steaming up, aren't they? Uh, hair dye. Where are you? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, they haven't got the colour that I want. That's a bit of a pain. I wanted bright red. Just reading the labels in case by some chance one's been put back in the wrong place. No, I don't think so. 
I found a pate for my daughter, a vegetarian one for her sandwiches that doesn't contain cashew nuts. Because the other one, the probably very delicious one here, does contain cashews and she's so allergic to them, she literally throws up when she eats them. That's 2.75 by the way. Oh well, at least I got the pate. I'm gonna look in savers for hair dye, see what they got. That's a no ammonia one there, look, no ammonia. That's what I need. 2.29, it's a lot cheaper. Lasts up to eight weeks, so I'm presuming that's uh, semi-permanent, but that'll do, because I'll have my one from subscribe and save by then. I'm gonna get this. They've got quite a selection of no ammonia ones, actually, if you look down. Good. Another successful purchase. I am off to somewhere like B&M or Pound Stretchers now. <laughs> it's actually something I need from Greg's. Isabel, my daughter, won't mind if she finds about this one because she's asked for it. She wants a Greg's gift card for her birthday as part of her birthday present. So it's pretty empty in there at the moment, so I'm gonna go in and get one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, there's another 20 quid out of my bank account, but she will be delighted, I dare say. I quite fancy some nail varnish, but the brands that I didn't say was I didn't know whether they were testing animals or not, so I'm gonna go in here and have a look. Ooh, I think that just drove over a crisp packet and frightened the living daylights out of me. Right, let's go and see. I know Barry M doesn't test on animals. Let's see what they got. I found them. I bet lots of them don't test on animals, but I just, I want to plough through and get it done rather than sit and reading all the labels. Oh, what should we have then? I've got two different colours at the moment. I've got this shocking pink, but it's all like wrecked. It's so old, but all I've got, I have to put about five coats on. So I was thinking I might get another shocking pink that just goes on in one. I feel like I should get one at a time, so it's always a treat. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Compared to that. Whoa. All right, I'm putting plum jam back and I'm going for watermelon juice. Cool, look at these fancy fridge magnets here, fiver. Not all multicolored like the kiddie ones. My GoPro just randomly decided not to work anymore, but it's okay, I have another one. So if my color just changed, that's why. Anyway, I'm gonna go pay for this and see you outside. Oh, I was gonna go in Barclays and try and get some euros. But look, it shuts really early, half past three. So I've missed that. I've just popped over the bridge. Well, I'm not quite over it yet, but in the park because I'm hoping to use the loose, if I'm honest. But I've noticed that the fair is setting up already. So lovely and colorful, isn't it? I tell you what though, I am never ever again going on a waltzer. No way, not after that one in Porth Call. I made a vlog about that. I'll link it in the description if you like. I'm too old for fairground rides now. Oh, the wind is starting to get up a bit now. Looks like some dodgems being assembled. Cars are all lined up on their sides at the moment. It's funny seeing them like that. This is the Lido, in case you didn't know, or the Lido, depending on how you pronounce it. Whenever I say Lido to one of my daughter's friends, she says, it's not the Lido, it's the Lido. <laughs> so, all oh, apologies, it's like Primark and Primark again, isn't it? But there it is anyway however you would like to pronounce it. I'm pleased to report that the toilets were open. Another mission success. I'm gonna to go to B&M now. I've been failing to vlog in b and It was a bit crowded and very noisy, but there's no speakers in this bit. This is what I've been buying. Birthday present wine, I hope it's the right one. I don't drink wine, so I've spent ages gazing at all the wines thinking, of, am I going to buy him a horrible one? So hopefully not. So I've got a friend with a birthday coming up anyway. Um, I've got myself a Coke so I'm on the train. A selection of Easter thingies as well. I am heading back to the train station now. I was buying birthday presents. That's why I wasn't filming the rest of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Could you please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.